Anyone else got the need, the need for speed? Well, it might be a few years until you can get your driver's license and join an NASCAR team, but there is another way you could try your hand at racing now. I'm talking about the All-American Soapbox Derby. It was created in 1933 right here in Ohio. It began when Myron E. Scott, a photographer for the Dayton Daily News, took a photo of some boys racing down a hill in little homemade cars. Scott noticed the cars looked to have been built using soap crates and had four wheels. So he dubbed the race a Soapbox Derby. Scott thought organizing the races could be a fun event, and so he talked to his boss into sponsoring a series of soapbox derbies during the summer of 33, as well as another race the following year. More than 300 children came out to participate, along with 40,000 people that came to watch the 1934 race. But wait till you see the other entrants in the 1935 derby. There'll be everything from cracker boxes to cheese boxes on wheels. Only a few short weeks until the starter's gun bangs away. This gained the attention of the General Motors Chevrolet division, and they agreed to sponsor an annual event. With the sponsorship came a change in location for the race, found by the residents of Dayton who were a bit annoyed by the first race's disruption. The city of Akron lobbied to host the annual event and won. It was a good fit since Akron is called the Rubber City because of their involvement in tire production. The first race in Akron took place on Talmadge Avenue in 1935. One year after moving the races to Akron, both Chevrolet and the city of Akron believed that a permanent track to hold the derby races was needed. Maybe you'd like a ride down the track. All right, let's go. With the help of the Works Progress Administration, Derby Downs was built in 1936 in Akron. The Works Progress Administration, or the WPA, was part of President Roosevelt's New Deal program to help the country after the economic destruction caused by the Great Depression. The WPA employed men without jobs to work on projects for the community. The WPA even included artists to design posters like this one for the races. Pretty cool that the kids' races were able to create jobs and make people smile during some difficult years. Since 1933, there have only been a few times when the races haven't taken place. A four-year hiatus during the Second World War and an early end to the 2019-2020 racing season due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And while it first started mainly as a sport for boys, the race opened up to girls in 1971. And it was only a few years later, in 1975, when Karen Steed from Pennsylvania was the first girl to win the All-American Soapbox Derby. Over the years, a few things have changed. The cars are not made from soapboxes for one thing. They are carefully designed to meet race rules and go extra fast but still no motors in the cars. It's all about using design and gravity going downhill to pick up speed. The Soapbox Derby has grown into a national and even international competition, but the final championship race still takes place at the All-American Derby in Akron. So no need to wait for NASCAR, you can build your own Soapbox Derby car today. No Ohio is featured in full episodes of News Depth a presentation of IdeaStream Public Media, connecting today's students to today's world. To know Ohio a little better, visit newsdeft.ideastream.org and click the Know Ohio button.